Hey there, my name's Waddles, and today we're going to be looking at some potions. More specifically, the new 1.13 potions. This is going to be a guide on not one, but two potions in the update. So, you know, try not to get too excited. Now, this idea is coming via Hypostein from the Danger Chat. So, shout out to you, and if you're not in the Danger Chat, go ahead and slide in there. There's a link down below. It's a community place where we all kind of talk and do talking. <laughs> No, but it's actually really cool. You should join it if you haven't. Leave a like on the video if you like it. Subscribe if you really like it. And let's start talking about some new potions. So the Update Aquatic adds two new potions. Now, I've got to be honest. I don't usually use potions, but these are some cool and definitely some different potions. So what I'm going to do is try and cover one whole potion, and then we'll just jump over to the next potion. I'll throw a timestamp down below to each section if you're only looking for one for some reason. Now, let's start with Mystery Chest number one. The Potion of the Turtle Master. I almost said the other one. Potion of the Turtle Master is one of the two new potions in the Update Aquatic. This potion is a cool one. It does kind of what you would think it would do. Just like a turtle, it slows you down but makes you a lot stronger. So you can either get Slowness 6 and Resistance 4 or you can get slowness four and resistance three now it doesn't last very long so this potion is probably going to be best for like a boss fight or something like that but yeah so how do you get this potion now for both of these you're going to need an awkward potion to get an awkward potion you need a bottle of water and another wart now in your brewing stand what you're going to want to do is throw your awkward potions in and this time definitely do all three because to make this potion you need a turtle shell to make the turtle shell, you need five of these scoot things. To get this, you have to wait for a turtle to grow up. So this is a costly, costly potion. But as you'll see, you'll get three of them right here. Boom. Now, like I said, some uses for this potion, in my opinion, is the boss fight. You're going to want to do this when maybe you're fighting a wither boss, maybe a dragon or something. If I switch over here into survival... I can show you, I mean, you can see that I'm walking slow and everything, but here we are in survival, going very slow, but having lots of resistance. So to show off the strength of this potion, I'm going to switch into survival here. I have no armor on, and I'll let the zombie hit me, just to show you what happens. I think I'm on normal difficulty here, so boom, we get that heart and a half of damage. Now, if we go ahead and drink this potion of the Turtle Master while running away from the zombie, because I don't want to die... We will take nothing <laughs> from this guy. Nothing at all. Now, uh, you're zoomed in too, which is one thing, but you don't take like any damage. As you saw, all the times he hit me, he only knocked me down one heart. Yeah. Now, if we spawn a zombie and we go ahead and hit him one, two, three, four hits to kill him, then we spawn him and give him that effect right there. Now, if we swing at him one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hits to kill that guy. This is the potion right here. Pretty effective. Now, I have to confess something here in this part. I can't figure out how to get the Slowness 6 Resistance 4 potion. If you noticed, when I brewed the potion over here, I got Slowness four resistance three so bonus points to you if you can go and figure out how exactly i would be doing that i tried redstone tried gunpowder tried glowstone nothing so i don't know so that's the turtle master potion a cool potion probably best used for boss fights like the dragon or a wither boss or something like that where you need a lot of defense now the next potion is the potion of slow falling this potion is really, really, really cool to me because it makes you fall slower, and it's just cool. Now, how do you make it? You need a phantom membrane to make this potion. Again, taking your awkward potions, here you go, and then throwing them in the brewing stand, removing your other ones, and throw that in just like that. I guess we only needed one. There we go. That will craft a potion of slow falling. This one lasts a lot longer, having a duration of either a minute and a half or four minutes. Now, to show this guy off, we need to fly into the sky. So, if I send myself, say, 100 blocks up from where I'm standing right here, 
and then we go ahead and drink the slow falling potion right here we will get the effect and then if i just let myself go right here we drift very very slow now we do pick up speed as you can tell here but we go way slower boom just for reference here we go without the potion or any effects right there just like that way way faster so this potion as kyle amoroso pointed out in a previous video is going to be very useful for dragon fights Kyle said that down in the comments below, and I do remember that, and I thought that was pretty cool. So definitely take one of these or a few of these to fight the dragon, because when he sends you up in the air, you don't need to do that whole timing the water bucket thing and, you know, trying to prevent damage. Just drink this potion, and you'll slow a whole, or fall a whole lot slower. Now, this is something I haven't tested out yet. I drunk the slow falling potion. I'm 100 blocks up from the surface, and I want to see how much damage we would take. Now, obviously, without this potion, we would die instantly. I don't know how the damage cancellation works here, so we have an experiment. Switching into survival, and again, falling from about 100 blocks up in the air. Slowly, slowly falling. We can move around while we're falling, too. It's just, you know, slow back and forth thing and boom there we go absolutely no damage whatsoever that's kind of what i thought so it cancels all damage so very very useful for the dragon fight and that type of stuff pretty cool of a potion as well you do fall slower when you jump to and everything so you can kind of like glide or sail slowly drifting which is really really cool so in terms of another use for this potion, which is a little bit more of a joke use because it isn't as hard to get as the Turtle Master one, you can make a splash potion out of this and prank your friends, throw it at your friends, and then all of a sudden they're jumping slow and doing all that kind of weird, strange stuff. So that's kind of cool. But to me, the main use is going to be the dragon fight or an end fort or something like that, where you could fall and die very, very easily. But that's that. Those are the two new potions of the update aquatic. What do you think? Did I miss something? Maybe I missed a whole nother potion. If I did, that's embarrassing. But which one do you like more? Which one do you think is cooler? I think the slow falling one is a lot cooler because of the whole brand new effect thing. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you haven't yet. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Join that discord and check out my 1.13 playlist. I know lots of stuff. I'm sorry. But one more thing. Go have a good day. My name is Waddles, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.